paying taxes to Caesar might have been a controversial subject then, but paying taxes remains controversial. We only have to look at the American elections to see a president who's supposed to be a millionaire being accused of paying little or no taxes. I did look a little bit into that, I did some research and found that actually a large percentage of millionaires pay less taxes than ordinary working people. But it's a common thing, maybe everyone who had the opportunity, or most people, might try and avoid or evade some taxes. But in the Gospel, really the key point is, Jesus does say we should give to Caesar what is Caesar's, we should pay our dues, but what he's really concerned about is paying our dues to God. That's his first concern is that we should acknowledge that without God, we actually have nothing. I was reading um, about a, a film the other day. It's called Self Made. And it's a lovely story, a true story, about a, a black American woman called C.J. Walker. And at the turn of the 19th, 20th century, she became the first black millionaire in America. And she did it, firstly she was a washerwoman, and then she started developing her own hair care products. And in spite of all the obstacles and opposition she faced, both as a woman and a black person, she became a millionaire. And the film is called Self Made. And you know, really, it's the name of the film that caught my interest most of all, because we use that phrase, don't we? We say, oh, he's a self-made man or she's a self-made woman. Almost as though all other people involved in that person's development, parents or teachers, played no part. Well, what does God think when we say of someone, he or she's a self-made man or woman? God you'd imagine, would surely laugh. Because when we do well, it's good to be reminded that every aspect of what we do, our determination or intelligence, our talent or grittiness or creativity, it all comes from God. Every last ounce of it is a gift from God. And the beauty of it is that when we do well, when we shine, it is because we're made by God and in his image. It's strange that we should forget that, but maybe like avoiding taxes sometimes or trying to evade them, we're more likely to try and avoid God or evade the fact that without God, we have nothing and we are nothing. So what do we do if we recognise this, that everything comes, comes from God? How do we acknowledge it? Well, the first thing to do is simply to give thanks and pray. Always thank him and praise him, giving him the credit. Now, in 1989, I remember as a, a young man watching the French Open tennis, and there was an American lad called Michael Chang. And incredibly, as a teenager, he won the tournament. And at the end of the tournament, having reached the peak of his profession as a young lad, I just admired the way in his thank you speech, he just thanked and praised everyone, his parents, grandparents, friends, coaches, and then at the end of it he said, but most of all, I'd like to give thanks and praise 
to my Lord Jesus Christ. I nearly fell off my chair, to be honest with you. Just thought, wow, how lovely that he recognizes that his talent is not his. It's a gift from God. A gift from God. Today, as we come before the Lord, we thank him and praise him for what he has given to us. For paying our dues to God, like paying our taxes, can sometimes be a challenge. And the challenge is this, to give back to God through generously using our talents, our time, our resources in the service of him and his kingdom. But it always has to start by giving him thanks and praise because that's the sign that we know how important he is in our lives.